Marcus Rashford's gone and done it again in France. Deja vu. PSG must be sick of Mr. NBE. Rashford did well, and it's in. And Manchester United could have won late on at Paris Saint-Germain with a Marcus Rashford goal. Oh, mate, I am absolutely buzzing from that result last night. Look, I just, this is, how good is it just to have Champions League back? This is what we live for as football fans. Big football games against the biggest teams in the world, up against the best players. And look, when you get the result you want, of course you're gonna be buzzing, which I am. But yes, I got some notes. I got some things I wanna talk about, discuss, in fact, in this game. Marcus Rashford, you sir are a proper hero on and off the pitch. But we'll get to talking about Marcus in a second. First, let's have a chat about, a little chin wag, about, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, because in my mind, that was a proper masterclass by the Norwegian, the United legend. Yes, look, with the way the game started, and I've seen the formation, there were some massive question marks in my mind, all right? The 5-2-3 uh, up front, I was thinking to myself, Jesus Christ, 2-1 Zabi at the back, of all times to bring him in now, really? Against Mbappe and Neymar? It's going to be a tough ask. Tell us a debut on the left. Again, do we really want to be making that? Dropping Paul Pogba again? Is that sending out another statement? I'm not too sure of that one. But starting Fred and McTominay. I thought, yeah, no worries on the weekend against Newcastle. He's up against John Joe Salvi. You know, we can cope with that. But against PSG, I was like, Ali, mate, your job's on the line. What are you doing, son? <sighs> so... When you get it right, mate, I've got to stand back and just say, fair play to you, Oli, mate. You got your tactics spot on. All right, let me go through the team quickly. David De Gea, what a man. I said it in a review a couple of weeks ago. The arrival of Dean Henderson has made De Gea, uh, David's performances just take it back to that level where we know and love from him. Honestly, he we know what he's capable of. The last couple of seasons have not been the best for Dave, but that... That performance last night was just Dave back at his best. And I have no doubt in my mind that's because of the um, competition from Henderson. But credit goes to Dave, mate. You were outstanding. And, and to be fair, every one of these players were outstanding last night. It's hard to, to pinpoint a bad performance. Aaron won Basaka. <laughs> Look, there's a lot of controversy going into this game about the off-field stuff about him. But let's not talk about that. Let's talk about how he had... Mbappe in his back pockets. Not really. I thought Mbappe was half decent. Just unfortunately just couldn't get on the end of one. But Aaron Wan Basaka, mate, if you're a true United fan, he puts in these performances week in, week out. I'm not shocked, to be honest. We've seen him do it against the best forwards in the Premier League. He, he shuts down all of them. Look what he did to Raheem Sterling last season. So I wasn't surprised in this performance <clears throat> whatsoever. He's just not the greatest going forward. But when it comes to defending, my word, son, he is just Cafu-esque, in my opinion. Uh, Axel 2 and Zabi, let's talk about this for a second. Mate, to come back from 10 months off, a lengthy layoff, and to perform, put in a performance like that up against the likes of Neymar. And I know Moise Kane isn't the greatest, all right? But Mbappe is up there. Look, did... Those front three there is probably about the toughest test you can get in European football. It is right up there. My word, son, this is the defender we have been crying out for. Is This is the partner we've been looking for, Harry Maguire. Hell, he could be the number one over Harry Maguire if he can stay injury-free now. Now, I hope it, touch wood, fingers crossed, he can put a string of games together like he did a couple seasons ago when he was on loan for Aston Villa. He was immense there. Hopefully now this is going to kick on for him. And uh, yeah, he'll be a regular for Man United. I've got no doubt in my mind if he can stay injury free. Look, Victor Lindelof thought he was solid. Nothing special. Um, he's really good on the ball. That's that's one of the great um, key abilities for Victor. Doesn't waste anything. And he's solid at the back. Luke Shaw, I thought was solid. It was just a typical Luke Shaw performance. 
Uh, or actually a bit better than, than a, a typical Luke Shaw because he wasn't wasteful on the ball at all. He created chances, a lot of running. I think because he had Alex Tellis there, it freed him up a little bit more. I think that made him a little bit more comfortable. But yeah, I thought that was a decent performance from Luke Shaw. But let's talk about a debut from one of the best debuts I've seen. Alex Tellis. He looks to be an absolute weapon. Mate, I am so excited by his arrival. Mate, those corners, how good is it now to have someone with a left foot in swing? He just looks dangerous every time he crosses that ball in. And not just that, even on the ball too. He's got nice uh, passing as well. Defense pretty good. Uh, doesn't stay forward. He runs. Obviously, he got taken off because he's not match fit. I don't think so. Well, I'm pretty sure that's the case anyways. Now, let's talk about Pogba. I can't believe Pogba got dropped for this game. Fair play to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer because Fred and McTominay stood up tonight in a game I did not want to see Fred and McTominay start. Fair enough, they started against Newcastle. I get that. Look, because you're playing against John Joe Shelby. All right, <laughs> for sure, we can take care of those. But the likes of PSG, my word, Oli, what were you doing not starting Pogba? But fair play to you, it paid off. I thought Fred was amazing tonight. And McTominay was solid. Look, up until he got that yellow card, I was thinking he's, he looks nervous. He doesn't look at it. doesn't look at the races today. But once he got that yellow card, really settled him down. Really got into the mix of things. And I'll tell you what, he had a great game. Both of them were superb in the midfield, honestly. Bruno Fernandes, look, Bruno, what a man. It wasn't his best performance that we've ever seen from him, but my word, the bollocks of this man. <sighs> look, to miss the penalty, I was just, oh no, back-to-back -back penalties missed by Bruno. Somehow, lucky, very fortunate to get a second chance. Neves was off his line. We got to take it again, but the balls of this man to step up and take it, want to take it again. And this time, actually bury it this time. Fair play to you, Bruno Fernandes. He has absolutely changed our club. Look, he was a little bit wasteful with the ball tonight. Wasn't his greatest of games, but the amount of uh, chances he's creating, uh, you got to expect him to waste the ball a lot. So uh, fair play to Bruno. All right, now let's talk about Martial and Rashford because I thought they had similar performances. I thought they were both decent. They just they were just a little bit off the pace. I'm not too sure why that was for Marcus. Look, Martial, I know. He's probably not played for a couple of games, just a little bit off that match sharpness, but did well. Won us the penalty. Um, but we know he likes to get the ball. We know he likes to dribble, take on a few plays and, and create. He just couldn't quite do that tonight. He was still solid for us. Uh, and Marcus Rashford, after back of the weekend, I was expecting him to kick on and be dangerous. And he just wasn't. He had a few spray shots that was a bit wide. Uh, a few chances which he should have cut it back for, um, for Martial. When he shot, he should have passed. And when he should have passed, he should have shot. Uh, it was just one of those games for him, but this is where champions are champions. He had the one chance, probably the hardest chance of the night, Marcus did, and he buried it. So fair play to your son. And after the game, I was just thinking to myself, this kid is only 22 years of age. He has got years to grow into the game and to develop and to get better. So I can't wait to see Marcus Rashford perform on the bigger stage in the future. Anyways, off the bench, we got Donny van der Beek. Look, when he came on, look composed, control things. Look, he wasn't on there for too long, but he just he's just got that composure just to relax the other players on the field about it. I just like him. And uh, Dan James, look, I think he has a role for us in this squad. Look, I know the quality is not there to the rest of the squad, but he's just a different outlet, what we need. That was perfect for us. And look, when we want to hit it long and knock it forward, we're going to give something to James to run onto. We know he can just, he's got the pace of Usain Bolt and he can loves a cheeky goal as well. So he's a good outlet for that. Um, Paul Pogba, can't believe he was dropped by Oli today. I was actually so shocked. But good management or was it just lucky? I'm not too sure because he does have a role in this squad and you've seen it when he came on. He got pushed out to the left. I didn't really see that was going to be the case. <clears throat> but when he came on, he just looked immense. Just the presence of Pogba on the pitch just opens up the play for 
Uh, Fernandez opens up the play for Martial and the likes of Rashford going forward. I've got no doubt in my mind, Ollie's probably just said to him, look, son, you've had the Rona. Just rest, get your form, come back. It's a long season. You need a bit of a break. No doubt about it. And uh, I've got no doubt in my mind, Pogba will be back. Anyways, my 3-2-1 for today. I'm going to give one vote to Marcus Rashford. I didn't think he had the best of games today, but whenever you get the winner away in the Champions League against PSG. You've got to be getting a vote. Uh, two votes for Axel Two and Zabi. Mate, I can't believe this kid has not played a game of football in 10 months to come out with a performance like that against PSG. Fair play to your son. Two votes to you. And for me, my man of the match has to be Fred. I thought Fred was absolutely superb today. Uh, everything he did pretty much touched turn to gold. Defensively, he was sound. Going forward, he was sound. On the ball, he looked composed. And he dictated the tempo for us. He was basically the one pinging passes, controlling things in the midfield. I thought Fred today was fantastic. And for me, a shout-out needs to go to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Mate, you, sir, got your tactics spot on today. But let's not rely on this. We've got a massive month ahead of us now. Chelsea on the weekend. Uh, Leipzig next week, and then we've got Arsenal after that. The games are coming thick and fast, but this is what it's all about. This is why we love football. We want to play against the best. How good is it being back in the Champions League? Oh, it was so good. Anyways, lads, lasses, my name is Curtis. I am blessed, football obsessed. I wish you nothing but the best. Take care.